I adore that one. Da, da, I do da, 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 he, he has the same like tone throughout all of them. They're just in a different yeah. meter. Yeah. But, like I do kind of like that. Like my favorite individual song is uh, "Wait for It." Ah, yes. not Burr's big solo. Yeah, like here's the um. The theme of like recurring music motifs is also something I like about Epic because it does that too. Um, we're even paying attention to the melody of the music actually gives certain things away. Um, this point in Epic where you actually figure out that Hermes is listening in because of a melody if you're paying attention. Yes. I love I love details like that. Their genres are also meant to make sense. Um, so like, I think one of the other things I like too is. Um, one of the other ones I liked was uh, Ten Dual Commandments. Oh, that's alright. The Count... Interesting thing to note, though, that song is way more important to the plot than you think it is, if you watch, uh, especially if you watch like, a lot of analysis videos on it. Mm -hmm. Because it also establishes the meter for every important or fateful confrontation. It also tries to establish it as like something fateful. Yes. Like, I... Yeah. No, so... No. Go ahead. No, you're good. I no. was. Um, the issue is, is every time I heard that and like the countdown, my brain switched it to. Do you remember the countdown on Sesame Street? Yeah. Like the old one. Yeah. With the, like, um, the the ping pong ball, not the ping pong ball, the the. Vaguely. The ball it like went around to everyone. Like, it just mashes up in my head for some reason. No, you're good. Whoa, what the fuck? Fuck! Ah, wonderful. Oh, okay. Uh. Sorry, I get very reactive in these games in case that was No, you're good. you're good. You just react like one of the characters in game. It's interesting. <laughs> I just I'm just sorry if it comes off annoying to you. No, 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 no. it's not annoying, dude. Don't worry. Uh, okay. Being reactive is what makes gameplay streams so much fun. Yeah. Ah. Taka, you probably would love how things go on in uh, Alien Isolation. I hear that one is very ambient and scary. It is horrifying. <laughs> but also, like, the reaction is hilarious. Whoa, Jesus! <coughs> Alright, is he gonna come back? needed for, like, absolute emergency. Eh. Yeah. What the hell even is this place? Oh, there's a dead body right there, but just in time, we have these assholes. Alright. You know, you said what kind of a place is this, and I wanted to say, it's California. And then you said, we found a dead body. I'm like, mmm, still California. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I was gonna say, oh, oh are we playing Pokemon Go? <laughs> Pokemon, go to the pole! God damn it, one of the oh, women invisible. No. <laughs> oh no, she said the thing. I said the thing. <laughs> you said the thing. Why have you that, chosen to commit suicide, Dust? That meme. Uh, I adore that meme. <laughs> Dust, why have you chosen to do that? Because. It's funny. Dusk, I, I tried to warn you the last time you pissed off Boeing. You gotta keep, you gotta stop pissing off these people. No. The CIA will will not bother making it look like an accident this time. The CIA, I don't have to worry about. I am in Canada. The last time Canada uh, went along with the CIA, they got into a big problem for doing human experimentation. Yeah, if, it, oh, if it's yay! like Ultra, they were weirdly complicit with Are you that one. It's serious? And the Ultra, yes, I'm aware. They're still getting into trouble with it. Oh, from like people who were there, like 
too fussy yeah. to do a bit kind of thing. Yeah, like, not just that, but, like, the victims are still coming forward and it's like, yeah, I was part Holy of it. shit. Do they, they must have an official registry of who genuinely was and wasn't. Oh, no, I'm sure, but that's, like, why this is kind of a thing, because, like, recently, like, someone came forward and was like, yeah, no, I was part of it, I'm on the list. And they're like, yeah, you're not, we're not, like, believing you, we're not doing anything about it, so now they're in trouble again. I mean, yeah, but also, surely oh. people understand that, like, there's a bunch of scammers around that are just going to claim that to get the compensation. Well, the question is, is whether they've kept, tr like, uh, if they've kept the list, because a lot of these records were destroyed on purpose. Hmm. Uh, okay. Sure. Oh, I'm having problems with it. Okay. Well, that didn't do shit. Fuck me! That's a keyframe's job. Everybody's recovered. Um, not the chocobo, but uh. Oh, I wasn't muted. Sorry about that. I like your stretchy nose. You sneak cute. Metal shield. I mean, everybody has it. You. Ooh. If you say so. <laughs> Let me put it in. Loki. Yeah. But still, fuck me, I need to be better about leaving the mic off. Oh, fuck you, you're the one who said it. Fine, get over here. <laughs> hmm, fine, I'll just get a passport then and see you. Yeah, it's only been three years. Excuse me, I saw you a few months ago. Mm, it's only been bitch. three years. What? It's only been three years. Hmm. <laughs> it's been three weeks since you looked at me. <laughs> that I said, ah, I don't remember the words. I used to know it off by heart. Something said, I'm sorry. Turn your head to the side and said, You're crazy. There you go. I was on the wrong one. I did know the reference. <laughs> oh, oh here. I'm glad. I'm glad you played along with it too. Okay. Also, apparently they blew the fuse at the hotel at uh, Winnie City Ponycon. Oh, already. Uh, how? Oh, wait, what? Where? Like, who are you talking to for this? Uh, I'm a friends with someone who's there. His name oh. is Cast, and he's like, "Yeah, we just blew the power." <laughs> oh boy, oh. here they go. Just their room or the whole hotel? The hotel, according to him. Oh dear. Yeah, the hotel's power grid. It's Thursday. It's not even the full con time yet. Oh dear. Fun times. <laughs> Bizarre. So was Keyframe. Huh? No, uh, Magical Star was asking uh, for who is at the con. Oh, is she there? Yes. Huh. I saw her cosplay. She looks beautiful. Yeah. Oh. It's in, um... Hang on, where is it again? My brain just stopped. 
It's you. It will always stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's you. Your brain always stops. It's you. I'm lucky if I get a full throt. Throt. Throt! If I get a full thought to my mouth and out. No, I don't do. I'm gonna go get a glass of milk. I will be right back. No, right, no problem. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm hungry.
let's try this again. See you later, Chocobo. God damn it. Chocobo's here, we might want to grab Ellie's attention. Well, we've already just... It's already coming on. Oh. And? Oh, you cocksucker. Yeah? Question in the chat. I can't see the chat. What does chat say? Do you like the greatest showman? I actually do. Uh, that is another one that I enjoy. Um, From Now On is one of my favorite songs. Uh, also, uh, The Other Side is probably my favorite favorite. That is fair. I like the songs, but it's a little bit like Rent and that I can't get past a huge flaw in it. And that is he is trying to make his way up in the world, as in, like, become, like, nobility, like, part of the rich. And the whole crux of the plot is, oh, I can't watch my daughter go to a ballet recital. It's just like, uh, ballet was very much looked down on at that point in time in history. That would never have been allowed for someone who was high class. Therefore, by you allowing your daughter to become a ballerina, she's one step up from a circus performer herself, so... I mean, like, another thing, too, yourself they here. said, uh, the movie was made by, from the perspective of if P.T. Barnum made the movie about himself. Yes, but we already know that, he, you know, not a yeah, great Yeah, like, <laughs> he wasn't a great person, but if you look at it from that perspective, then a lot of the calls, if you know what I mean, in the movie make sense. Yes and no, even if it was about P.T. Barnum himself, like, from his perspective, if he's trying to make himself, like, be higher than he is in the world, again, he would never have let- because, again, parents had complete control over their children. He wouldn't have said, oh yeah, it's fine to go be a ballerina. If he's trying to make himself up, like, up in the world, he would have married her off to another rich person. Yeah, or if- keeping in mind that they basically admitted it was a propaganda film, like, yeah. for the art. Uh, he, they would play it up because that's what they did, so they wanted to make it, like, you know what I mean? Like, solidify the idea of... No, I understand, but I'm also saying that that is a huge flaw. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I'm saying that, like, yeah, if you were talking about, like, historical accuracy, then yes. But the thing is, I know that, to me, the movie isn't trying to be accurate. It's, like, it's propaganda, but it knows it's propaganda. And that's, you know, okay. But yeah. it's like you just shoot. And yes, Blue Griffin, that is exactly that Barnum. There's a sucker born every minute. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Is that like, when I know it's that, then I know he's going to portray his daughters in exactly the way a showman would. He's going to over dignify the thing that they got criminalized. Or at least that's what makes intuitively makes sense to me. Jesus. I'm going to disagree, but that's okay. Damn it. Mind you, I've also seen, like, the Gilded Age, so... Hmm. Yeah, like, I'm not saying it to just contest with you, just to contest with you. I'm saying it because, um... <laughs> mostly because, um... Uh, Having a night. Because, I mean, it's, it's mostly because of, at least from how it's presented to me, the movie seems like it's propaganda that knows. Yes, I agree, but... Again, it... it as soon as that popped up, it just sort of completely took me out of the movie. That's fair. I, like, for me, I, it would, I, like, I think, like, for me personally, like, it would only do that if it was still presenting itself as historic accuracy. So, like, for me, like, the mention of that other part excuses that for me. Because of, place is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that's, that seems to be a personal thing, but yeah.
Son of a bitch. Huh? Oh. I don't know if I can do that. What? Oh no, I, I replied, but what then there was the a lot hell? of silence, so I was I went to my internet then. I didn't hear, sorry. Oh you're good. Basically I said the reason why it was excused for me was because it mentioned it was basically because for me it mentioned it knew it was propaganda. That's kind of what in my head excuses it for me. Yeah, but just because it's propaganda doesn't mean that something that's that historically inaccurate makes any sense, and therefore it just well, that's, to be for me. Yeah, but that, that's the point of propaganda. It's like the original use of propaganda was the subversion of history, like to push it put, or the other definition is, is to push an inorganic narrative. In fact, its inorganicness is what makes it propaganda. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, um, Mark. Not Mark Antony. Um, Octavius did something similar with uh, Cleopatra. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, I guess, he wrote like a story where everything that happened between Cleopatra and Mark Antony that happened uh, with him instead. Mm-hmm. They just changed the names around. Yeah. And what was the name of the story? It's me, the finest playwright, to write the best smut of me and Cleopatra. <laughs> She's dead, but they will know that I was the blast baller to ever have her. <laughs> and so all of Rome will never doubt my lady pickup skills. <laughs>